Marco Polo. A thousand years ago, the best trade link between East and West was the so-called Silk Road. A long and dangerous route which crossed Asia and Europe from China to the Mediterranean. Niccolo and Maffeo Polo hey, were Venetian am. merchants who travelled the entire Silk Road in order to open up new trade routes <laughs> with the East. In China, they met the Emperor, the great Kublai Khan, who received them with great hospitality and ordered them to return someday. So, in 1271, they set off from Venice on a second journey, taking with them Niccolo's young son, Marco Polo, who was then only 17 years old. They took many goods and presents for the great Khan. They crossed the Mediterranean. Lebanon, Syria, Persia, the mountains of Pamir, and the Gobi Desert. The journey was so long, it took them four years to get there. Until they reached Shang Tu, the residence of the great Kublai Khan. The young Marco Polo was a quick-witted and intelligent young man and soon won the confidence of the emperor. Marco Polo explained to him the ways of the West. and discovered that in many aspects, China was more advanced than Europe. Marco Polo became the emperor's counselor and worked for him on important diplomatic missions. Time passed and Marco Polo and his family Miss their beloved Venice. <sighs> Eventually, the great Khan allowed them to return home after 16 years spent at the Chinese court. <laughs> On their way back, they secretly took with them a Mongolian princess who the Khan was offering in marriage to the king of Persia. When they got back to Venice, Marco Polo and his family dressed in Eastern clothes and behaved according to Chinese custom. Their neighbours thought they were very eccentric. A short time later, Marco Polo took part in a naval battle against Genoa and was captured. While in prison, he met Rusticello of Pisa, an elderly, learned man who was amazed at the things Marco Polo told him. Rusticello asked him to dictate all he could remember of his travels. This is how one of the most original, fascinating epic poems of the Middle Ages came to be written down. The book which tells the story of Marco Polo's adventures is called The Description of the World. In it, Marco Polo talks about things which until then no European had ever seen. Things like pasta, a postal system, the Mongol army, tigers. Such strange things for the people of the Middle Ages that many of them didn't believe a word of it. 